John okay. Carroll challenges this, this Tulsa present. I, I realize you know they've been very multiple the past couple of years. They've changed coordinators a couple of times in the last few years. But from what you've seen, what do you guys have to focus on this week to be somewhat proficient defensively? I mean, they have a great offense. That's no secret. You know, that year in and year out. Uh, they're good, but we're looking at it, and it just seems that everyone wants to come out this year and, and really try to run the ball. They're doing a lot of powers and encounters and stuff like that, and I mean, that's what I've seen all year. And like I like I've been saying earlier, I mean, we played Texas, it was the same thing with Baylor. It was, you know, I was going against big, tough old linemen. It's going to be another game just the same. So um, I think, uh, at least for my job, I need to focus on really just holding my gap. I'm going to see a lot of doubles, back blocks, stuff like that. So. Just really stopping the run, but as a defense as a whole, I mean, you got to keep that QB contained, obviously. And um, really, as Jake was saying before, it was nice to have this week off. We just uh, we got to kind of sit back and watch a lot more film and, and just look at things at, at a different depth than you get to with just only one week, you know. So we're coming into this week, which we normally wouldn't have, with already, you know, kind of knowing what's going on. So that's going to help a lot, too. Did, did the film study reveal any things that, that maybe guys had missed in the course of playing every week like that would be beneficial as you get ready for this closing stretch? Um, I mean, it just – you just get to know their offense a lot better, you know. I mean, there's no secret. I mean, football's football. And we had the film of every other team the, the past weeks, but it was more just um, – I can kind of just calm down, and, and, and I'm not stressing about the game or anything. I'm just watching as kind of a – you know, just objectively. So I'm seeing a lot more things. Um, you know, and Jake was saying before, and I was thinking about it, we're just playing football this week, this past week. And it was nice to do that, you know, get get all the, the injuries healed and stuff. And, and I think that's also going to be uh, really uh, a factor toward our success is just getting healthy this past week. When you take a, take a, take a glance at it, the preseason goals you guys had established, and I realize that you know, with four games left, you have to win all four to kind of get to a whole eligible situation. But anything that, that jumps out at you that, that's still attainable that, that you guys can still reach out and grab? I mean, um, a win, you know, I mean, that's, that's all we can do. I mean, I, it's hard not to think bigger picture, but that's, that's how you overlook these little details. But I mean, I know this off week was really late in the season compared to other teams, but. It was nice to have it because we could just like really assess all of our goals, you know, really get focused for not only the bigger picture, keep that in mind, but really just the next week is it's one and oh, that's been our motto ever since I've been here and and that's all we can do. I mean that's what we have to do. You see in um, you know, quarterback Fred who want to get pressure of quantify kind of quarterback Kenny and you know, just what do you need what do you guys need to do to kind of neutralize it? Um, another good QB, uh, I mean, and we're looking at, you know, they have a really good passing uh, offense, but we've seen a lot more, like I said earlier, a lot more power run game. And I just, I mean, if we hold our gaps, keep our rush, you know, rush lane integrity, um, I mean, it's the same thing we've seen. This is you know, probably the fourth game that's going to be great QB, keep them contained, you know, and it's kind of like the same old story. That's why we, we have that tough schedule early on because, you know, we're, we're, we're prepared, but I mean, it's, they're a good team. They just beat Notre Dame. I mean, I think the thing we have to do is never under, uh, underestimate anyone and, and really just be consistent, you know? I mean, you see us play a game and, and we play like Rice should play, and then the next game, I, I mean, just those little things kind of come back to kill us, you know? So I think this week we've been focusing on those little things, and that's what's going to be the difference. What are some of the little things you focused on the last week? Um, a lot, you know, like just at a basic level, like team camaraderie, just uh, no, not pointing fingers and, and really just, you know, we're all in this boat together. So it's not the offense's fault. It's not special teams. It's it's not me. It's 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 my team. It's, it's us, you know. So I think at the most basic level that. But then secondly, as Jake was saying, like fundamentals. I mean, you got to play football. you got to go back to technique and, and stop worrying about, you know, you're not going to get to the big picture unless you're doing your technique every play. So 